Now this is how it's meant to be done. Well, here, let me grab your bag. Holy Holy Come on in. <laughs> Holy oh, what's that mean? I think it's good. Look at the layer to love. Oh, this is good. This is a room fit for a relationship. I'm going to give you the official introduction. Let's start in your new fabulous living room. My closet. Yeah, where'd it go? I have a living room. <laughs> you two come oh, sit. Come on, come sit down, Puck. Oh, damn. I flipped the two rooms, and if I kept that room as your living room, you you couldn't dine in here because you couldn't get through the room to your bedroom if there right. were a dining table. Taking this room over as your living room and, and blending your artwork mm -hmm. with your sort of cultural appreciation and taking those elements and using this room as like sort of basically like the center of the heart of the home, that was the, the beginning of the whole sort of design process for me. Taking the TV, that's a big screen television, mm -hmm. taking the doors off this closet and pushing it in there, painting the closet brown, all of a sudden, that TV is not the focal point of the room anymore uh -huh. until you turn it on. I almost walked past it. You didn't notice it was there. <laughs> I didn't even notice it. You didn't notice it. it was there, and that's the thing. It's <laughs> really about making it innocuous. And this fabric here, and this wall fabric, mm -hmm. is from a company called Quadrille, and they are to a trade, they only deal with architects and interior designers. I couldn't figure out how you are gonna actually give me a dining room and a living room. I couldn't see it. I think the, the most interesting thing in this room is the, is the circle because I loved that piece, but I felt like it needed a focal point. These are also, remember these are the, these are, the, remember these, these are from the Tucker Ramen. fishing baskets. Fish, exactly, the fishing baskets. All the plates and the flatware are all from Bed Bath & Beyond. This, you remember this? You figure out what that was. It's actually made out of feathers, but that's really the dining room. The whole reason for this crazy stripe, mm -hmm. at this this one stripe here, was that I wanted to bring these two rooms visually together. together yeah. So wow. visually, you actually when you stand here, you can see how they connect. And also, it's a great way to it brings in sort of the color palette that you were trying to go for before. And these are very muddy, earthy colors, and I think they're more about where you wanted to go. So you want but to see so you like it? Do you like I your love house? It. Closet organization was one of your big problems. The first step to organizing your closet is get rid of things that you don't want, things mm -hmm. that don't fit you, and things that you haven't worn for over a year. We took this dead space. This part of your closet was like the ends of my hair. It was mm -hmm. dead and unuseful. Okay. okay? <laughs> so we added a second bar. So you're using the whole right. wall instead of yeah. just using the top part. And then the third thing we did is we used um, storage bins to keep out-of-season clothing out of the way. Are you going to do your fashion show now? I'm going to do my fashion show. Now, come over here, look, I've laid out your first look. It's, this haircut is so it's Liza. It's so Liza, isn't it? Okay. Let's go out and show the kids. This oh one is called God. Sophisticated, but still with oh, lots of personality. Cool. We went to DKNY and we got a great cashmere sweater because he's worth it. And then we did pinstripe pants. These are all a little fussy and a little bit dressed up. And just like his house, we took some basic pieces and then we right. infused his personality. This was a brass belt buckle. So I took the mud cloth that he had laying around the house and made a little insert and hot glued it in there. And then and Nautica sent us this great little shearling bomber and then some sunglasses. Okay, hi, hi. Yeah, let's go to the next one. <laughs> Throw on your dress shirt, cuddly and soft. We got more fashion people. Sure, sure. Oh my god. The Fair Isle sweater is so very traditional, but what DKM wide is they updated it by doing it in kind of these bright, kind of vibrant colors. And then you always want to see a little bit of your shirt cuff when you're wearing your sweater sleeves down in the winter. And again, I took more of the mud cloth and I just put it in the yoke here and um, it just, you know, makes it your own. Okay, how cute, how hot. This is my favorite one. What do you think, Rob? Do you have a favorite? I love it. I love it. Actually, the first one. The first one? Really? Like that's for tonight. Do we love that? Love it, love it, love it. All right, I think we razzle dazzle. I want to talk to you about some of the ways that you need to take care of yourself. Your hair is, it tends to be very, very dry. So something that's very important for you is to
put oils back into your scalp and oils back into the hair follicle. This is one of the oils I got at Gamma Kings. This is the herbal hair oil. And if you mm -hmm. just look, the most prevalent ingredient will be first and then in decreasing order from there. If you look here in your first ingredients, castor oil, almond oil, grapeseed oil, done. Right. Those are all great base oils for your scalp and for your hair. I have to tell you, I like the beard. But what I would say is if you're going to wear facial hair, just don't let it go wild. Right. Wear it groomed. So look what I got for you. It's a brand new trimmer, body hair trimmer. So what I would recommend for tonight is giving yourself a little bit of trim. Just trim the entire beard. Mm -hmm. And then I want you to clean this up with a razor. Would I freak you out if I told you I've never used a razor before? Why haven't you ever used a razor before? Because I've used clippers. Just so you know, I got a razor. It's especially for African Americans. One of the things that causes ingrown hairs, it's when you cut the hair too short, because it curls right back into the skin. Right. This razor will not let you cut the hair too short, okay? If you just like shave from here, it's just right there, done. And then here, okay. all the way around. So it's just like that little bit, mm -hmm. okay? So that's your shaving. So come on in, Robert. How's this going for you so far? Beautiful, beautiful. Have we worn you out it's yet? amazing, no. No? I'm hyped now, no, I'm just really pumped up. This is a Washington State Riesling from Chateau Saint-Michel. It's called Eroica. It's a fantastic wine to have with Jamaican or Caribbean inspired fish stew like we're having. See, it's kind of, oh, it's very fruity. It's, it's got, I like this. It's nice. Remember, we're doing this fish chowder, but there are, you know, there are about 15 ingredients here and every single one of them has to be ch chopped up into little pieces. Okay. We're not gonna make the fish stew uh, until you get to it later this, uh, tonight, but I'm gonna walk you through a couple of knife tricks that'll help with this. This is Spanish onion. You're gonna need a couple of these for the, uh, for the stew. You first cut it in half crosswise like that. And you take the other half, cut it right like this. Then you take and you cut radial cuts into the onion like this. Okay. And then you can come along like this. There you go. There's a dice. Okay. All right. Now here we have the scotch.